So the last video of the day, hopefully, is the Cross Townsend. I do believe this is my first Townsend. This is the Cross 2019 Year of the Pig in red lacquer. Made in China. Beautiful, beautiful. And I know I'm going to be disappointed when I open this because for some reason, even with their expensive pins, Cross never includes a converter. We'll see here. Um, I think the only time I got a converter with my Cross was with my 175th. And who knows, the the person that sold me this may have just thrown that in complimentary. I, I, I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, that's, that's what's in the cross. Uh, no, no pamphlet. A couple pieces of cardboard. Uh, if you get hungry and one cumber, one cartridge um, and this pen cost $239 I have hung the ons that cost $16, $15 that come with converters I have Scrivener's Scriviner's that cost $45 that come with converter and multiple cartridges of ink. But um, you know, I'll give I'll give Cross some grief because we have a long history. We go way back and they'll they'll always be my favorite pen company by far. Um, and you'll you'll see this whenever I show my cross pen collection one day, but this is compared to the, you know, the Opto Hoot was $236 and it had, you know, information. It had a converter, you know. Whew, cross. But anyway, it feels, you know, nice and fairly weighty. Um, so, this is the cap. And this has a Swarovski crystal. New crystal. Like I said, this is the year of the pig. So you see the pig there. Um, so these are described as deep etched gravings with 23 karat gold inlays. And it's hand polished, translucent, translucent red lacquer. And here same more intricate design there's another pig snout and there's the yeah a bit of focus this is a solid 18 karat gold nib and this is a fine nib Very beautiful pen. Nice little grip section. So yes, this is a year of the pig. Uh, I'm not a a pig fan. I like eating pigs, but um, I was a uh, animal science major my very first year in college, and um, one of our tasks was to we had to um, tattoo an ID on the pig, and we also had to tag their ear, which is basically stapling a little tag on the ear. And I don't know if you've ever dealt with pigs, but they are super smart and super evasive and greasy. So by the time I finished that assignment, I was covered in crap. I smelled worse than all the pigs combined 
And I think out of 15 pigs, I probably was able to tag maybe one or two ears and tattooed maybe five of them. But it was fun. Again, I smell like, I think I had to burn my clothes. I just smell so awful. So yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with the pig. Um, but it's a fond memory regardless. So this is kind of appropriate for me. You're the pig. Oh, the pig. Gotta love the pig. Yeah, it's a gorgeous pen. And not so gorgeous. Cardboard, 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 yep, yeah, cardboard. No, no cross embossed anywhere. Just this says cross. But without a doubt, it's a cross pen. And it, it'll show, it'll show the way it writes, which I guess at the end of the day is the most important thing is the way it writes. And cross has never disappointed me since the age of 11, 12 in the way they write. So to compare sizes, we have Cross Calais, $45. The Cross Townsend near the pig, my 175th. Oh, the 175th is a small one. And the Otto Oot. Auto Oud and the Calais are kind of similar. The, um, this Townsend is in its own league as far as length. It's a long pen. Hopefully it's well balanced. It feels like it would be balanced. Yeah, it doesn't miss away it. So with that uh, one included cartridge, it weighs 36.7, not bad. I'll do it with it this way again, 47, so it's less than the auto root. And let's see, Visconti, 46.7. But 10 grams smaller than the lighter than the Visconti. But see, the ink is already ready, so let's do a couple writing samples. With the included cartridge that um, Cross so generously provided. So I'll start with my right hand. This is the pen. Ooh, nice. It's a cross. This is a fine, but it just feels medium. Hmm. Cross, Townsend. That does not feel like a, a fine nib. I'm not complaining. But it definitely doesn't um, nib. So what I said, 18 karat gold, solid 18 karat gold. I'm gonna put fine in parentheses. And the ink included. Very nice. left hand I don't I don't anticipate there will be any issues either
get this old cartridge in reverse. I, I figured it would write very well in reverse. Not reverse. It's just this feels like a medium nib to me. I don't see anything fine in this. And it writes beautifully as all my crosses do, as I stated before. I wish I could see the nib closer. Kind of wonder if I really did get a fine here. But um, check out this cross Calais. Well, it's leaking a little bit. It's Calais. It's forty-five dollars. little leaky and 175th anniversary it's a beautiful pen $34 I never um, when I put prices down I never you know, I'm not bragging about how much my pens cost. I just want you to get an idea of what you can get for um, the price. And it's not always the more you pay, the more you get. That's what I want to em emphasize more than anything. Um, so, pros and cons for the year of the pig. Pros, smooth. Cannot express how smooth it is. Smooth is smooth um, in reverse as well. It's beautiful. Beautifully crafted. Um, there's some history to it. You know, it's a talking point. As far as the Chinese Zodiac thing goes, it is balanced. Not heavy. Not overly heavy. Or girthy but of course that depends on your uh, you know on your hands um, this is one of the um, weightier cross pins that I've received in some time um, cons I'm gonna say of course you I'm not gonna say the packaging packaging it's lackluster Um, lack of a converter, lack of more than you know, one cartridge. One came with one cartridge. You know, warranty material. instructions none of that just a pin in a box with some random pieces of cardboard and a, um, a, a cartridge kind of makes you wonder if it you know maybe it was a retailer error I don't know um, but it's fine I'm you know it's a keeper regardless um, 
another pro I would say I would say the, the crystal at the top is beautiful yeah but that's a cross um, and I won't say that the the line weight I mean the, I will say I will say the the line weight is heavier than I expected. I expected for a fine. And I will, I can't see here, but I will get my loop out and make sure I didn't get a medium. Um, but even if I did get a medium, I, you know, I, I'm not going to send, send it back or anything. It's just a nice, nice, nice pen. I'm not sure if Cross even has fines and because every Cross I have, they they seem like they they write the same. I'm trying to draw a vase. So I'm not going to belabor the point. This is the Cross Townsend Year of the Pig. If you can manage to find one, I'd recommend it. Just, just know that you may or may not get more than one cartridge. And may or may not get any instructions or warranty material. But other than that, the most important thing you get is a beautiful pen that will likely last a lifetime and writes beautifully. Um, so with that said, that is the cross Townsend Year the Pig edition, 2019.